Hi guys, if you have been following cricket, you will find this kind of a chart being made. Like the first 10 over how they performed, then the next 10 overs, next 10 overs. So this is kind of a mapping down your scores per over. Okay, so you can see various charts which are there like this and the building being formed. Same way in the cat, I want you to make a map. This is called time mapping. Okay, so we all know that CAT is not time based. Main strategy is going to be how you can perform in 40 minutes, irrespective of the number of questions. So for the last seven mocks you have taken at CT, you know, any coaching classes you have taken, I want you to map how you performed in the first 20 minutes, how you performed in the second 20 minutes. Okay, the moment you do, do that, immediately you will find out the flaws in your strategy, if there is any flaw. Yeah. For example, I scan the paper, pehle ho jao, pick up all the easy question and then pick up all the heavy question. What a very, very common strategy. I'm going to scan the paper twice. I'm going to run through the paper twice. Kind of a Robin rounds. You realize that in the first 20 minutes, when you're doing the easy question, you can solve up to seven questions. But when you're doing 21 to 40, you can only do three questions. This means you are wasting your time here. Okay. So an ideal scorecard, how it should look like, your performance should be equal. Either 5 to either 4 attempt, either 6 to either 7 attempts. Your attempt should be equal. Fine. And this also is in sync with my strategy, my main uh, G strategy for mock taking for the quant section, same for verbal DI logic. First 20 minutes, let's talk about the quant for example. In the first 20 minutes, you have to do, you have to see, not do. You have to see 11 questions. See. Next 20 minutes, you have to see another 11 question. Assuming total question is 22. Fine, see. Un mein se jitne ho pai, ho pai. If the paper is easy, you might be able to attempt 8 questions. If the paper is very tough, you might be ending up with four questions. So my attempt will automatically get adjusted to the level of difficulty. I don't need to do anything else. Trust me guys, this one of the best strategy you can apply, time based strategy because the number of questions we don't know. So you have to finalize my strategy this way for quant, di and verbal. Okay. I have made the videos earlier about quant strategy, DI strategy, verbal strategy for the D-Day. Please check out that videos as well in the description box and then finalize your strategy and time map. Do it for, it will take one hour time here. Ek ghanta apko lagega to go through the last five, seven mocks and try to find out how you performed in the first half and the second half. Same way in cr cricket, first 20 overs, 10 overs, this was my my scorecard. And next 10 over, this is how the team performed. Next 10 over, this is how the team performed. Next 10 over, next 10 over. So rather looking at a 50 over, which is a huge time frame, let's look at the 10, 10, break it up into 10, 10 overs cut time frame. And let's keep checking our performance with respect to the Australia's performance. Okay. In this match, India's starting was good. They lost their wicket towards the end. मुझे देख के लग रहा कि शायद इंडिया ने ओपनिंग किया होगा आपको क्या लगता है देख के तो सेम वे फॉर योर मॉक्स आई वांट यू टू डू द टाइम मैपिंग इट कैन बी फॉर द फर्स्ट 20 मिनट्स सेकंड 20 मिनट्स और इफ यू वांट टू गो फर्दर ब्रेक डाउन इनटू 10 10 मिनट्स फॉर क्वांट वर्बल डीआई लॉजिक ट्रस्ट मी इट विल हेल्प यू टू फाइंड द फ्लॉस या because the ideal target should be both this number should be approximately same if not exactly same approximately same all the best